What's up guys, I'm Tell Nick here and welcome back to number episode of Splatoon 2. Today we have a brand new update which is version 4.3 and with that we have four new weapons, um, a new Kenta collection which means another four new weapons being eight in total plus we have a new gear ability called main power up, main uh, weapon power up and we have a new combination of uh, gear which is I think bomb defense up plus cold blooded because they're the two least popular gear abilities and now they're combined into one ability called cold blooded DX I think or maybe it's bomb defense DX I forget which one but that's what it's called now and they're combined so there's no more cold blooded and there's no more bomb defense they're made into two or they're made into one, which is, I think, Cold Blood DX, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty big update, and sadly, it is the last one, which is kind of sad, because I love this game, and yet, this is uh, one of the last major updates. Um, we do have a new Splatfest, which is uh, Christmas-themed. I forget when that is. I think it's in actually January, if I'm correct. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't really uh, heard about it yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this uh, today. Sorry this is a late video. Kind of had th some uh, things to do. But, um, yeah, I finally got it out to you guys. I'm going to be showing off the four new weapons today for uh, 4.3 today. And then tomorrow I'll show off Kenta Collection 4, which is the other four new weapons. Um... So as for the weapons, we have the Kensa uh, Point Fifty Two Gal, the Kensa Rapid Blaster, the Blah Blah Berdeku, the Custom uh, Explosion, the Kensa Mini Splatling, the uh, Ballpoint Splatling Nueva, and the Naculus Seventy Eight, I think. And then we have the what's the other one? Naculus Seventy Nine. And then we have the Kensa Google Duelies, which I feel like is a really cool design, by the way. I'm going to show you guys, yeah. Half black, half white. Cool design. like it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to buy them all, because we already have a lot of money anyway. Um, I don't know if there's any more new gear. I don't know what's replaced with main power-up. It might actually be replaced by maybe main... Main, uh main weapons uh, saver I think maybe I don't really know but um if it is that's actually pretty good um, also there's been nuffs uh, nuffs there's been buffs and nerfs which um maybe I'll go into the Brella is a lot weaker to a lot of things like splashdown and stuff like that and uh, inkjet and I think the baller is too but uh can I equip this now no I can't okay actually yeah let me show the shops anything Hmm. I don't see anything yet. So, okay, yeah. It, oh, it is Bomb Defense Up DX. Okay, I thought it was Cold Blooded DX. But it's Bomb Defense Up DX. Where Bomb Defense and Cold Blooded are now combined. Which is really cool. Um, and I like that. Um, especially because they're not used that much. Uh, let me actually see. Let me see my gear and see if anything has main power up. Because it's kind of weird that they kind of just have that now. Uh, let's see ability don't see it there don't see it there maybe it'll come up later or you have to buy it like on the uh, splatnet shop maybe because it doesn't it wouldn't be like replaced by something I don't think maybe it is I don't know also I think some other things got buffed like the uh, sub ink consumption uh, got buffed yeah I don't find I can't find it so I guess there might be new gear that uh, we either get later on that has the new power up or we get uh, I don't know maybe we you just get it from the splat net too but the thing with the main uh, main weapon power up is that it's different for each weapon. 
they gave some examples online some of them being the splat roller doing more damage the uh, undercover Bella shield regenerates faster aerospray covers more ink uh, splatter shot shots are more consistent um, I forget what other uh, examples they gave but they seem it seems like it's a pretty good power to have uh, I haven't found it yet maybe I'll go do I have my phone with me here no I don't so I can't actually look it up but my guess is that maybe you can find it on Splatnet 2 it'd be kinda weird if that's the only thing it is I don't know if it's um I'm gonna actually check I don't know if you can get the what the hell is it called I don't think you can get the like sub version of it like the slots but maybe you can and maybe there'll be chunks of it too I really don't know uh, let me throw that out there okay they're after me yeah he's after me all right, all right okay yeah he's really after me and he's after everyone else too damn okay already out of the gate um also there have been other changes to they changed uh splat belly uh splat belly no black belly <laughs> skate park it's not splat belly um it now ha is bigger which is cool um it also i think just has more space to cover and stuff like that all right good i killed that guy got rid of our threat there I wanted to put a sprinkler there, but I couldn't. Uh, shoot. Okay. Uh, no, no. Okay, he flanked me. That guy's good. Oh, he's not even using any of the new weapons, so. Yeah. But yeah, I do like the Blob Blobber. It's a pretty good weapon. I feel like this might be a good pick for, like, uh, tower control or something like that. Because of the, both the sprinkler, and I feel like the suction bomb blast can definitely help. Uh, really, that, did that guy really just die from the stationary suction bomb? I mean, I guess suction bombs can't be non-stationary, but... I'm gonna try and flank them if I can. And I can't. Oh, okay, I got him. I got him. Oh, I died from an ink mine? Really? Okay. You know what? I I'm not complaining, but still. Um, anyway, that's tomorrow. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show off the, uh... Nice, got that guy. Um, I'm gonna show off... Shit, okay. That guy might get me. Um, show off the Kensus weapons then on Friday you guys probably know what it is it's gonna be smash ultimate and I might do that for a week do like the let's play of shoot okay um do the let's play of world of light start that I might do a live stream also on Friday I don't really know yet I might but it depends on what you guys want me to do but I'll definitely do a let's play of that. Let me just jump out here. There we go. I mean, when you have three seconds, you really can't do much, so... Might as well just jump out. Yeah, we weren't winning anyway. <laughs> I couldn't make a difference. I mean, maybe I would get... I could have, like, covered our spawn and got... 36.5, but... That would have... Still made us loss. I did pretty good though. I think I got what four kills and the most turfed ink being over a thousand, which is good. So that's not bad. Um, let's go with the explosion, the custom explosion, which has the point sensor and baller. I feel like this would be good for. I would say clam blitz, but when you use a baller, you uh lose all your clams so maybe splat zones this would be good in I can see this be good in splat zones splat zones 
it requires more kills than I think anything else. Maybe tower control. Yeah, tower control this might be good too. Cause you can use the baller on tower and then get a couple more steps. That could be a difference between overtime and not overtime. I don't really like this weapon too much, but it has a lot of range. I'm not good with it, but it can be good. I'm just not good with it. See, this could be good. You can just, like, stall out your opponent here. Like, especially with this stage. Sadly, we don't have, um... Ah, uh, that didn't activate, seriously? I mean, I know it's a buff. I think the splashdown does more damage to Baller. But I don't think it's an automatic kill like that. So I think what happened was it didn't activate in time. Just sad. Alright, at least I tracked him down before I died. Don't really know how he... I, can you one-shot with Inkjet? I don't really think so, but anyway, um... Some other buffs and nerfs, the, uh, splatter shot, or not splatter shot, the... Oh, shoot, okay. Uh, not the splatter shots, the... Splat chargers, they have a... Not a shorter, but, like... I don't know the word for it. It's their... What the hell is it called? It's, uh, length is... Or not length, but... Width is shorter. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so they changed that. Um, another thing that they changed was the... How are we losing this? Is, uh... Ink resistance, which is good. Um, ink resistance now stacks, and I think it takes less time or more time for enemy ink to actually do damage to you. So that's good. See, I can see this weapon being good. Look at your opponent. Okay, yeah, and except you forget that your opponent's behind you, right near your base, and your t teammates don't help you out. Forgot about that part. My bad. Don't know how that guy got inside, but I guess everyone else is just doing something else. How's oh, this guy not dead? Are you kidding me? Yo, he should have been dead. I'm sorry to say, but he should have been dead. Explosure is a lot stronger than that. I think it's two. It's one crit, you're dead. And I think two indirects, you're... Dead. <laughs> but yeah, I got two indirects and he was still alive. Unless that's the power of the new ink resistance, but I don't think it is. I can see this weapon being good, but again, like I said before, before I even started, I'm not good with the explosion. I should probably start practicing with this weapon, because it really is its own weapon, just like the uh, Blob Blobber. And I should probably practice with these two weapons a lot more. Maybe I'll do it for the rest of today. But um, we're going to be doing the Ballpoint Splatling Nueva, and then a the episode with the Nactulus 79. Having a little bit of desync issues here, but it's fine. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do a live stream of Smash Ultimate on Friday. Because the game's going to be out, even though I'll probably only be playing as the eight characters that you only unlock. I mean, maybe I'll unlock some characters off screen and stuff. Because by the time I record it, it'll probably be probably be like eight hours into the game already and probably unlock every character already because I heard you get one character every ten minutes 
so it's not too bad. That's if you're playing single player. You can also unlock them in classic and um, will of light. All right, waiting for two more people. Don't really know why it's taking so long, but yeah. Sadly, we can't play in Black Belly Skate Park because, like I said, that got some changes. Uh, I think they buffed a couple other weapons and nerfed some weapons. I can't really think of them off the top of my head. I know Auto Bomb, I think, takes like 1060 of, of a second slower to uh, charge up to its opponent. So that got nerfed a little bit. Um, I think the ink consumption of the uh, point sensor actually got nerfed from, or buffed, I guess with the ink consumption being from 60% to now 55%, so that's good. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty bad with this weapon. I probably should have put some run speed. I'm talking about run speed, actually. Um, they buff run speed for the heavy splatling and the hydro splatling, so now it, um... So now, basically what it does is it just... It's better for the... Hydra and heavy splatling than it once was. I don't know if the ballpoint splatling it affects it, but I know that run speed helps the splatlings. I think mini splatling too. Um, a lot better now. Yeah, I have to get better with this weapon too. As I'm gonna die right here, yeah. I should use the Kenta, the Kenta undercover bell like that. Just be more aggressive. I'm not like that. I'm usually like kind of walking back. Well, I should be just charging forward because they have less of a chance of actually hitting me if I'm so like in their face and stuff. I okay. I pressed B and the other way, but that didn't work because I. I'm using the pro control, not the pro control, I'm using the joy cons. The buttons are so small. Oh, this has squid beacons? I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, so, and I pressed the Y button back, so. Seriously? Okay. 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 I'm gonna die. How am I, how did I survive that? Well, I just, like, jumping over it every time and here I'm like I'm dead because it's like a 2v1 and yet somehow I survived finally I got my revenge can we get some uh Nope, we can't get Ink Storm because we're bad with this weapon. I don't know why I'm so bad with these weapons. I guess I haven't played them that much because they still are kind of new. Oh my god, can this person stop, like, bothering me? Like, honestly, I get into the middle for one second, and that person just like, Oh, let me just throw a Seeker and kill you. Just like that. I couldn't even get one special. I need, I really need to practice with the ballpoint spotlight, I guess, because that was absolutely trash. I did absolute trash in that match. One kill, zero specials. 530 pain points. That's bad. Why did I do so bad? I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, we're gonna switch to our last new weapon, which is the. or for today, I guess. The, nat the Naculus? Nat Natalus? I don't know how to pronounce it. Nautilus 79. 
Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to show off the um, main power up, or yeah, main weapon power up for tomorrow. Don't really know if I will be able to. I'll check Splatnet, see if I can buy any gear with that uh, ability. And if I can, I'll show it off. If I can't, then I guess it'll just be for another episode, but that'll be probably in a week or something. Okay, so another Splatling weapon, but this time I can hold my charge if I want to. I don't really see it used to. Oh, okay, it holds... I did not know that. You can actually, like, do that and then continue charging. I did not know that. Learn something new every day, I guess. You can charge that for a lot, actually. Or for a while. You're very slow, though. I don't think run speed affects it that much. This guy really want to fight me? Think he can take me? Oh, he's gonna throw some rain on me, huh? That's cute. Got my inkjet. Can I get across here? No, I can't. Now I know. <laughs> at least I got my ink back, at least. <sighs> okay. Let me try and get that guy if I can. Got him. Oh, uh, I didn't think I was gonna have enough ink, but I actually did. Ah, uh, two against one. Wow, I'm surprised she killed me, not the guy on top. I guess the guy on top just assisted her so much that she got the kill instead, somehow. Got him. It's a pretty good double kill there. Also, that works too. The uh, suction bomb complements the. Suction bomb uh, complements. What was I gonna say? The inkjet. Because then you can just place a suction bomb right where uh, you use the inkjet and they might die too actually probably splat bombs better because suction bomb you have more time to react but I did pretty good with that actually was able to win which I guess is good but yeah I'm not too bad with that weapon because kinda just like the heavy splatling but like the GooTuber, you're able to hold your shot. Anyway, though, uh, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 updates, where tomorrow we'll be showing off the um, Kensus the Kensus Collection 4. So stay tuned for that, and Smash Ultimate, and other things gaming, right here on Town Nick. Bye.